What's going on guys, Car Mechanic here, and today I'm going to be teaching you 673 King Street by James Galea. Let's get into it. Alright, now check this out. I'll give the deck a couple of cuts, and if I had an actual spectator here, they'd be doing the cutting. But since I do not, I have just done the cutting and I'll also be doing the talking. So a couple weeks back I was in Vegas and I met two redheads. And we talked for a bit, and uh, two brunettes also decided to join us. And I asked them all if they know each other. They said yes, so I thought I might as well introduce myself, and I told them that my name is Jack. Now they said, Jack, you seem like a pretty nice guy. We're going to have a poker game going on later at 673 King Street, and the cover charge is $25. I said, $25? They said, yep, $25. And now at this point, I get a phone call, and I said, hello, this is Jack. Who's this? He said, uh, hey, it's Bob. Uh, what are you doing tonight? I said I'm going to a poker game at 700 and something King Street and the girl said no, 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 it's 673 King Street. I said sorry about that dude, I mean 673 King Street and uh, there's a cover charge of $25. Now he's told me, uh, dude I only have 10, uh, can I still go? I said come on dude, I've known you for quite some time. I said alright fine, I have 40, but you're going to have to spot me on cash at the game. I said yeah, sure, no problem. So now at this point, we get to the game, and uh, since I was new there, they said, Jack, would you like to do the dealing? I said, uh, yeah, sure, that shouldn't be a problem. So, of course, they didn't trust me, so they gave the deck a cut, and then they let me deal. Now, I looked at the first guy, and uh, we had this connection going on. He said he wanted a full house with two fours and three eights, and of course, I made that happen. I looked at the next guy. He said he wanted four nines because he wanted to beat the guy before him. And the guy after him said he wanted an eight with the four aces. And at this point, he starts reaching for the pot. And I said, wait a minute, dude, what the hell are you doing? He said, Jack, there's no way you could possibly get a better hand than four of a kind aces. And I said, I may be a nice guy, but let me tell you, I don't lose because I have a straight flush. And that's how the story goes. So that trick was a mouthful for me. And uh, I have no idea how I made it to the performance. So if you guys still want to learn, uh, one thing I highly recommend is learning a story and getting it down before the day that you're going to perform. And, and of course, there are many versions of a story on YouTube and online, but I think James uh, Galea did a fantastic story and pretty much everyone's story is, is based around his. Now, of course, you're going to have to set the order of the deck. I'll leave the deck order down in the description so you can go and check that out. Set up the deck and then come back. Okay, and now one more thing you're going to have to do uh, once the deck is set up. You're going to have to take the bottom card and give it a little bend here. And the reason you want to give it a bend is so that once you cut the deck, you can recognize where the deck was cut by this uh, break here that's set by the card. So you can always just pick it up and know that's where the bottom should be. So uh, just to recap the setup, get the cards in order and bend uh, one corner of the bottom card. Now starting the trick, uh, you want to give the spectator the freedom to cut the cards wherever they want. And of course this is where that um, card that you have bent comes into play. So when the spectator is cutting the deck, you can pretty much be sure that regardless of wherever they cut to, you'll always know where the original bottom is by just lifting up where the break is and then cutting it one last time. So once you've let the spectator cut the deck you're, and then you do the final cut, you're set. And then you can start the actual uh, trick itself. So of course we start off with the two redhead queens. And after the two redheads, uh, you generally want to cut the deck or you can you know cut the deck after, it's whatever you want to do, very flexible. So make the story, make two redheads and also two brunettes. And what I like to say at this point is I ask them if they know each other. And as soon as I ask, you know, when, 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 as soon as I say that, I give the deck uh, pretty much a false cut. And what I do for this is I've actually made a video on false cuts. So I'm not going to go through the full version here. So you can check that out, hopefully somewhere on the screen and in the description. So what I pretty much do is do this. And boom, there we have the false cut. And one more thing I do actually is I swing cut the top packet over like this. 
Then I swing cut the other top packet right on top, but instead of squaring it up here, I grab it like this and I put it behind that um, original top pile. Then put this pile back down and this back down. So it looks something like this. One more time. Looks something like this. So this way the deck maintains the order and people are thinking you're cutting like crazy. And now at this point I asked that to introduce myself. My name is Jack. And they said Jack seemed like a nice guy. 673 King Street is where our poker game is. Right? And all you're pretty much doing is just going through the deck and making it seem like a nice story. And they said $25. I said what? They said uh, $25. Then of course give it another false cut, take the bottom, right, just take the bottom, just do this and just put the bottom where the bottom is. So nothing crazy, I'm, if you were actually looking at what I was doing, I'm doing this and that. But of course making like a fancy thing out of it would make it a lot more believable. So $25, yep $25, you get a phone call, you said hello this is Jack, hey Jack it's Bob or Bill or... Jimmy or James, whatever it is. Um, what are you doing tonight? I'm going to a poker game at 700 and something King Street. And now what, what I've seen in almost all performances is that the queens or the ladies say no, no, no at this point. So I think the best way to actually do this is you give the deck a swing cut, give it another swing cut, but except uh, hold a break, either a pinky break or a break with your ring finger here. And then uh, take the original bottom, just say no, no, no. Okay, so go through that one more time. Two swing cuts, keep a break. Bottom packet goes on top here, still holding the bottom packet. No, no, no. It's 673 King Street. Sorry about that, I meant 673 King Street. And a cover charge of $25. And now of course at this point, do another false cut. So always just keep on doing false cuts. The more false, well, of course, don't go overboard with false cuts. But just every now, once in a while, just do some false cuts. So this way, it seems like you know you're mixing up the cards. Uh, it's over at 10, 10, 10, and now we actually get there. They said, Jack, you want a deal? Now this is something I should like. Uh, so what we do is we, as soon as this happens, we give the deck a cut, and now we tell the spectator to also give the deck a cut. And now because there's so less cards left, the chances of them grabbing the card where the break is, is fairly high. So at this point, you're gonna let the spectator give the deck a cut and you're gonna say, so they didn't trust me with the deck, so they gave the deck a cut. So that's where you have the spectator give the deck a cut and tell them cut the deck somewhere around the center if you feel like they're gonna cut somewhere else, but if you feel like they're going along with the trick and they're not, you know, trying to test you, just tell them to give the deck a cut, right? So just to recap again, they say, Jack, do you want a deal? And then you give the deck a cut and then tell the spectator. And of course they didn't trust me, so I want you to give the deck a cut. So they give the deck a cut. Chances are they'll cut where you have your, you know, marked card or bent card. And then you tell them, you look at the first guy, they said they wanted a full house with two fours and three eights. And at this point, I give the deck a false cut. The next guy wanted four nines. The guy after that wanted um, an eight with four aces because he wanted to win. And then he started going for the pot. And I said, wait a minute, what the hell are you doing? And uh, this is literally just a blank card and you actually don't have to go out and buy this if you have you know extra cards lying around you can actually use an eraser and you could pretty much erase the um, I guess the pips of the card so you can actually erase all of this I mean it takes a it takes a while but if you don't want to go out and buy cards uh, that are blank then you could this is definitely an option where you can erase and then do the writing right so I say um, what the hell are you doing they said, Jack, you can't possibly win. And then at the end, you show them a straight.
straight flush, which is the best hand in the game. And that is 673 King Street. I hope you guys liked it, and I hope you guys can actually do this performance because it blows people's minds when you do this. It just takes a while to get to learn you know, the story of what's going on. And uh, not going overboard with the cutting, and just, no, just having fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my performance and the tutorial. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my social media links down in the description below. And I'll see you in my next video. Welcome to the end screen. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe because subscribing is good. Thanks for watching.